Yo, 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 what up, my dude? It's the Iron 22, and welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory, Road to Prime, Ronaldinho. And, and as you see here, we bought uh, Rodrigo. We needed a striker, and also we put in uh, Martinez, and I got, and I think we got rid of um, the Colombian center back. Um, because I forgot to put in Martinez in the last episode. So hopefully uh, he'll perform. And yeah, so he has uh, Delafo, uh, Dennis Suarez, Gaia, uh, Di Marcos. Didn't really get to see who the goalkeeper was, but it doesn't really matter. So this guy was um, he he was he was good at the beginning, and then you know I I do that thing where you know I just take a step back. And I analyze my opponents, or I, I, I try to, um, when I'm not uh, frustrated. But yeah, so I, I took a step back, I, I analyzed my opponent, and uh, you know, you'll see what happened. Maybe it paid off, maybe it didn't. But with that being said, um, uh, I like Rodrigo, you know, he's good with the pathing, his dribbling's on point. What not? I, I I was kind of worried that you know I made out the wrong decision of getting rid of Angel Okora. You know what I mean? But you know, I I kind of feel like that it worked out in the end. I don't know. I don't I still have to try out you know Rodrigo for at least ten games and see how many goals he scored and see how many assists he can uh, uh get and whatnot. So yeah. So as you can see here. Luciano picks up another goal. This guy, this card, man, is unbelievable. Every time he makes an appearance, he scores a goal. It doesn't matter if we're losing. It doesn't matter if we're um, winning. He scores a goal. It doesn't matter what the situation is. He always scores a goal incredible guys highly recommend you pick him up for those who just recently bought FIFA or for those who you know just thought and said oh, this card this card looks all right I probably won't pick him up but I highly recommend I highly recommend you guys pick him up um, with that being said as you can see here we got a corner and it made uh, the ball made its way to Rodrigo's foot and all he had to do was just tap it in so that is his first goal on his debut. So not bad for Rodrigo. Not bad at all. It was um I want to say it was a lucky goal because I didn't really you know control Rodrigo when the ball came to him. But it's whatever, dude. I I'll take what I get. It's fine. Um. With that being said, Luciano just absolutely destroyed that defender. It was insane. What a beautiful goal. Holy crap, and he scored another goal. It is now, I want to say he scored like maybe eight or nine goals for him. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yes, the scoreline is 3 0. And, you know, we're just scoring goals left and right. This guy, I think this guy just pretty much just gave up. Um, what I'm noticing in this FIFA is I've yet to uh, get a, uh, an opponent. That rage quit. So I don't know if if everyone is just trying to play the game so they can learn how to play. You know, learn what the mechanic um, is and whatnot. So you know, uh, Rodrigo gets uh, not, not excuse me, not Rodrigo. Luciano gets himself another goal, and I believe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is his this is his first hat trick. So, you know, I wasn't joking, man. This card is unbelievable. Y'all gotta pick him up, man. Y'all gotta pick him up. So as you can see right here, we're in the 81st minute. And it's pretty much game over. You know, um, we'll, we'll make our last attempt. Or we'll make a couple attempts to score another goal. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just game over. Um, Luciano here tried to try to, get, try to get himself another goal, but it was denied. But uh, yeah, 
in the 89th minute. It's his. Um, it's we're, we're on our final counter attack. We're gonna see what what we can do with this final opportunity and see if we can get ourselves another goal. And um, let's see if uh, Luciana can put this away. No, he cannot. And it's going to be yep. It went over the bar, and after that, after this, it's pretty much just game over. So we won uh, 4-0, so it's a beautiful start to the episode. And this guy has Pedro, uh, Jack Wilshere, uh, Otamendi, Bravo, uh, what's it called, Danny Welbeck. And when I first saw Otamendi and Bravo, I was like, yo, man, this is going to be easy. Because, you know, Otamendi, they, 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 I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say something about Otamendi. Otamendi's car looks garbage. His pace, they butchered his pace. I am telling you, he's faster in real life. I don't know, maybe he's just getting older and older. That's why his pace is going down, down. But I'm telling you, his pace should be at least at least 72 even you could even push it to 75 but you know Otamendi's card uh, I was gonna pick it up but when I first saw his card it was oh man it was so bad I was not happy about it, about it at all so I can as you can see here Carlos Vea crossed it into his Rodrigo and here's Rodrigo manages to finish it. Where we are down 1 0. Not a great start. Um, not a great start at all. And as you can see here, Moy is going to head it to Oxley Chamberlain. And Oxley Chamberlain finishes his first goal on his debut. It is 1 1. You know, I'm impressed with Oxley Chamberlain. Um, I don't think Velasi ever scored for us. No, no, he did. He did score one goal for us, but it was a cheesy goal. And this goal, in my opinion, it's not a cheesy goal. It's a legitimate goal. So, you know, with playing the one game with, with Oxlade Chamberlain, I gotta admit, you know, he's kind of better than Velasi. Even though Velasi has five-star skill moves, I... Kind of prefer the pace on the wingers, so you know, I'll take what I get. So, as you can see here, uh, Coleman gets the ball, passes it to Moy. Moy to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, I forgot to mention. So, not only did we buy Oxlade Chamberlain, we also bought that left wing uh, Colombian guy. It's like 91 or 92 pace. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not going to butcher it. Uh, we also bought John Stones to replace Olga Bono. Now, what I noticed when I was playing uh, this game is that John Stones, when, uh, when he's getting ready to defend, he doesn't do anything. Now, maybe... I'm going to have to switch back to Olga Bono because Olga Bono was like, you know, for, from the time that I was playing with Olga Bono, he was good. He was a solid, solid defender. So I don't know. Maybe I'll switch. Maybe I'll switch back to Olga Bono, or maybe I'll just save up my coins and buy a um, defender like Company or uh, what's it called? As really La Cueta. Or a, a player like that, because um, right now I'm not too keen on John Stone, so that might have been a bad purchase on my part. But there's always gonna be uh, that type of uh, situation where it you you just make a bad purchase sometimes. Uh, nothing really happened in that in that in that game. It ended with um, it ended with two one. I believe that was the the final. Scoring. So he has uh, Rodrigo, uh, Gaetan, Paulinho. Okay. Paulinho in this game 
he just shut me down. He's constantly getting the ball. I don't know if I should pick up a Paulinho myself and, and get rid of um, Oriana or if I should just, you know, keep Oriana, uh, get more coins, then maybe get myself uh, a Koke or save myself to get an Isco, even though Isco is like 50 plus, I want to say, on coins. So I don't know, because I kind of want to get, um, I kind of want to get uh, a faster cam, because Oriana is good, but you know, it's stamina is his stamina is not the best so I'm gonna try to get the, a player uh, that has a uh, better stamina hopefully a better pace so I'm not sure what type of player I'm gonna be getting but hopefully we'll get that type of player um, as you can see here we are down 1-0 already and I want to see that is a common theme I've always I'm always going down right off the bat and I need to fix that. So that that you know, it's hurting me a lot. It's hurting me a lot. Um, we are in Division Nine right now, and with one more win, we'll get up to Division Eight, which that would be ideal. And um, I kind of want to do for next episode a foot champions. Uh, me trying to qualify for foot champion because today is uh, I want to say today is Tuesday let me check real quick here yeah today is Tuesday and uh, I just have a few days left until the first week of weekend league will be here it's gonna be very very soon and I have to be ready the I I feel like the La Liga uh, squad is ready you know, you have Luciano is on fire right now. But with the BPL, I'm still working on it because I'm, I'm not too keen on Joshua Kings. Um, I need to find a striker that is kind of like Luciano that always is constantly, it's, it's constantly scoring no matter uh, what type of situation I am. So, yeah, I might need to get, um, I might need to get uh, a better striker. Hopefully that will happen very very soon. Um, I kind of want to kind of want to grind out the squad battles again. See if I can earn more coins, earn a uh, better rewards, and see what I get. But at the same time, I want to do more divisions so I can you know face against better opponents, get better myself in preparation for the foot champions. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, it's very, very, very tricky. So, I will want to say that that it was Luciano that scored another goal. But, you know, it was a very lucky goal. The goalkeeper did couldn't reach there in time. And it, it bounced. It, the ball bounced off his hand. And then, uh, a few minutes later, we got scored on. So, I, I don't know if you noticed in this game, but... Paulino, it has been shutting me down. This guy, you know, is always getting the ball. He has a lot of possession against me, so not really. Um, that's not good for me at all. I, I I barely got the ball back, and even when, even when I got the ball back, I just lose it immediately. So that's something that I need to work on myself because I can't be doing that for foot champs. With that being said, bros. Luciano, Luciano, my man Luciano scored a beautiful finesse that makes it 3-2. So, it's good to see that Luciano is still scoring goals, man. Still going, still scoring goals no matter what situation we are in. So, it's good to see um, that, uh, that, that this striker is scoring a lot of goals. So... I just need to be on the lookout for another tricker like him. While Jigo right now isn't really, you know, performing the way I want him to be performed. But there's only the two games that I've played. So I need more time with him and to be more uh, comfortable with, with using his card. And hopefully uh, he'll be a huge turnaround. Um, so yeah. So 
as you can see here, it is the 88th minute, and this is going to be our a final a couple attacks. You know what I mean? Because nothing much, nothing happened after my goal, and yeah, it is not it is not looking too not looking too good at all. So. As you can see here, Luciano to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, he's looking for somebody to pass to. He sees Luciano. Luciano rips a finesse and he just misses it. It was so close to going in, but it just wasn't meant to be. As you can see here, we're in the 90th minute. We have uh, three minutes of, of, of extra time. And it's pretty much game over. Oh uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do in oh well. So as you can see here, in 10 games he scored 13 goals. So you know he has more goals than appearances. He is on fire right now. Um I am going to get rid of Smithle and Mar Martinez because that those two are horrific. And I am gonna buy uh uh two new fresh center back so hopefully that will fix the defense with that being said guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe and uh hopefully hopefully you guys are excited to see more uh fifa 18 road to glory road to prime ronaldinho we're gonna get one more and get there soon hopefully we'll get the prime ronaldinho really really soon so yeah guys um with that being said thank you so much for watching and see you guys later